Today's video is kind of inspired by, and I think inspired is the wrong word, but um, just watching what's happening on social media with the coronavirus, and uh, I've got customers who's using Yammer as well to create awareness in the companies. And I kind of thought of a template that I know that exists that could definitely help with these type of things. So if I go to Power Automate and I go to the templates and I'm going to search for Twitter and I'm going to search for Yammer as well, and I want to see what templates are available. So there's one, post to Yammer if a new tweet appears with a specific hashtag. So let's try that out. Please keep in mind that Power Automate only has access to the things that you give it access to. So if you've authenticated your Twitter account, as you can see there, and your Yammer account, it will have access to it. If it's the first time you use it, you'll have to add your credentials. As always, I like uh, renaming my uh, workflows because it just helps me to, uh, to troubleshoot better. So I'm not going to write a Twitter <laughs> power automate that, oh, that's following the coronavirus, but uh, I thought I'd do something for my um, learning through sharing um, Yammer posts, and that is to follow the Office 365 hashtag. So um, post hashtag Office 365 tweets to Yammer. Um, so then you can see it says when a new tweet appears now you've got to be careful with this okay and that is that um, it's case sensitive so that's a challenge for me is that I'll have to duplicate this uh, auto power automate to have one that's in all caps and have one that's in all lower case as well to be able to catch those tweets because as far as I understand and I have done some tests this is definitely case sensitive now the group ID for the Yammer group that I want to post to, um, where do I get that? So on Yammer, I'm going to navigate to that group and this is my learning through sharing um, Yammer group. And in the top in the URL, you'll see that it's got a feed ID number. And I'm going to simply copy that feed ID number. If I then come back here, um, well that's clever, you can actually pick it, nice. How's that for an improvement? So I can just go learning through sharing. That's pretty cool. And the message text is going to be tweeted by and uh, the tweet text. And of course, you can choose from different um, orgs that you belong to. So it is the good stuff that I want to post to. And I am going to search for Office 365 text. It would have been nice. And like I said, I'm not sure. If I look at that love or hate, I would have thought that I would add it and I would be able to say or. But I'm not sure. If I can concatenate the United like that. For now, I would just leave a single text um, like that and I'm going to save this um, Power Automate. And there we go. You can see that there's been a couple of runs and they've been successful. So um, let's take a look at Yammer. And then you can see in my group, it's actually posting the tweets there as well. Now keep in mind on the specific um, Power Automate, there's different options as well. Because it's looking at the tweets, it's actually got access to uh, dynamic content. So here you can see there's a list of um, other details you could maybe look at from Twitter that you wanted to include in your Yammer post as well. I do think that this is quite a sweet little way of uh, keeping up to date on things and sharing the knowledge inside of your company. I hope you'll enjoy that and think of different ways how you can use that as well, not just uh, for technology, but as I mentioned, even for this coronavirus updates, for maybe awareness, health awareness. So um, quick and easy one. I hope it helps you. We'll chat tomorrow.